Hi, it's Monday Motivation, and like always, I'm super excited about it. I am Tiffany R. Easley, your store strategist, teaching you how to live the life of your dreams by soaring beyond the drama, trauma, and challenges of life. Well, we finished up a four-part series last week, and this week we are starting another series. This series is entitled Clear the Clutter. I'm super excited about it. I had posted something on social media a few weeks ago, maybe days ago, not sure. And I talked about clearing the clutter and I didn't know it was going to turn into a series, but here we are. So this week we're going to deal with one part of that and that is clearing the clutter from your heart space. Yep, we're starting in very deep and very real, and I'm going to be super transparent with you. Not because I want you to be in my business, but because I really feel like that's the authenticity when it's real. When it comes forth and it's honest, you can see that I've walked this thing out myself. So, I'm going to look away at some definitions and notes because I want to make sure I disseminate the information to you accurately. And what I'm going to start with is the definition of clutter. So clutter is defined as a crowded or confused mass or collection. Crowded or confused mass or collection is exactly what clutter is. So today we're talking about clearing the clutter from your heart space. So just imagine if your heart is cluttered, it's this big lump of just confusion going on. Your heart is only as big as your fist. It has no room for clutter. So you, you have to clear it. That's the bottom line. So how do we do this? I found this scripture that I love. I've never read it in the New Living Translation, but today I did. And I want to share it with you. So Proverbs 4 and 23 in the New Living Translation reads like this. Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Wow. Think about it. If your heart determines the course of your life, there's no room for it to be cluttered. So when I say clear the clutter, I want you to clear your heart of those things that are not of good or are not beneficial for you. So if there's any anger, strife, bitterness, envy, jealousy, hate, those things have to go. It's important. And one other area that we don't really talk about is hurt. That's a big one because a lot of times we harbor hurt in our heart and it comes across as jealousy, envy, anger, strife, bitterness, all of those things because we've been hurt. So today I want to encourage you to clear the clutter from your heart space by doing two steps initially and then some sub steps we're going to talk about. First thing I want you to do is forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for whatever it is. The fact that you are not where you want to be at the age you are now. The fact that you are not making the money that you want to make at the age you are now. The fact that you're not married now. The fact that you don't have kids now. Whatever it is. I want you to forgive yourself for that because there's a plan in everything that happens. So the fact that you haven't reached what you think you should reach. There's a plan in that. Trust me. Then I want you to forgive other people. There are people that may have intentionally hurt you or unintentionally hurt you, but you have to forgive them. Why? Because you cannot be effective in what it is you've been called to do if you're not willing to forgive other people. I'm going to be very honest with you. There were a few people that really hurt me, hurt me um, emotionally and hurt my pockets too. And let's, let's just be real. When people hurt your pockets, it's hard to get over. Let me say this. I had to forgive myself for number one, not listening to the unction of the Holy Spirit when I was directed to let it go. And number two, I had to forgive them because that's just who they are. And it's okay. Because even in the things that I lost, they are going to be restored to me and even better. So I encourage you to get rid of anything 
that you have that is not of good toward yourself or anyone else. And I guarantee you, your heart space will start to open up because that clutter is starting to be removed. And once the clutter begins to remove, things can flow better. My business is flowing better. My life is flowing better. My love for others is flowing better all because I decided to clear the clutter in my heart space. So take some time, grab you some old school pen and paper and write down what you need to forgive yourself for and who you need to forgive and put some action behind it. Write those emails, send those text messages or those inboxes or whatever you need to do and forgive those people so that your heart space can be decluttered and you can begin to have the flow that we know is of good things that are destined for you. It's written, it is so. There's no discussion about it. So I hope you've been encouraged today. I hope that you've been tugged. I hope your heart's been tugged to, to make that decision to let forgiveness flow because we want you to have the right heart space, that adequate heart space so that you can do what you've been called to do. By now, you should know who I am. I am Tiffany R. Easley, your soar strategist, teaching you how to live the life of your dreams by soaring beyond the drama, trauma, and challenges of life. Please feel free to follow me on social media at Tiffany R. Easley, or go ahead and hop over to our website, TiffanyREasley.com. Let me say this. We do have some amazing things coming up. We are going to be touring with a new book. I'm super excited about it. And we're going to hit some major cities this summer. And I would love to see you there. So stay tuned. Get linked up with us either on social media or on our website so that you can know what's going on. Until next Monday, have an amazing day.